You're a minor and you want a tattoo, but everyone is telling you that you're too young. Ow, 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 ow. In fact, your local tattoo artist says that they can't tattoo you because it's illegal. What if I told you that it isn't illegal for you to get a tattoo? That's right, even in Texas, minors can get tattoos in the right circumstances. However, that doesn't make it a good idea. Something you should understand first is that the law doesn't bar minors from getting tattoos. Instead, it bars tattooing a person younger than 18 years of age. The reason this matters is because a minor can seek emancipation to remove the disabilities of minority. But since the law doesn't bar tattooing minors, emancipation does nothing. If you have an existing tattoo, your parent or guardian can consent that it be covered with another tattoo as long as they determine that it is in your best interest. However, the existing tattoo must contain obscene or offensive language or symbols, gang-related names, symbols, or markings, drug-related names, symbols, or pictures, or some other type of word, symbols, or markings that the parent, guardian, or a court considers would be in the best interest of the minor to cover. Therefore, under the law, you must already have a tattoo in order to get a tattoo. Basically, you have to get a homemade illegal obscene tattoo and convince your parent that it is in your best interest that it be covered in order to get a legal tattoo to cover it up. Let's just presume that you already have a tattoo and your parent has given consent to get it covered. How is a tattoo artist supposed to know that your parent has actually consented? Tattoo artists aren't going to risk going to jail without covering their bases first. In order to prove that your parent consents, your parent must provide a lot of evidence to the tattoo artist. Your parent must be physically present at the time the tattoo is being performed, execute an affidavit stating that the person is in fact your parent or guardian, present evidence of your identity to the tattoo artist, present evidence of their status as your parent or guardian, supply the tattoo artist with a written detailed description or photograph of the tattoo to be covered, which will be kept with the artist's permanent records, and provide the tattoo artist with the full name, address, and telephone number of your parent or guardian. If you've considered lying about your age to a tattoo artist in order to get a tattoo, don't. If a person under the age of 18 represents falsely that the person is 18 years of age or older, or presents any, any document that indicates that the person is 18 years of age or older to a person operating a tattoo studio, then that person commits a Class B misdemeanor. A Class B misdemeanor is punishable by a fine not to exceed $2,000, confinement in jail for up to 180 days, or both a fine and confinement. Now that you know the law, next you should consider whether or not you should get a tattoo as a minor. Even if you already have a tattoo, that doesn't mean that you should hurry out to get it covered now. There will be plenty of time later to get it covered, so take your time. Getting a tattoo is a permanent and adult decision. When making adult decisions, you need to remember that just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. This video is meant to provide information on our laws not to encourage you to go out and get a homemade tattoo just to convince your parents to let you get it covered up. So please don't send us any hate comments just for educating people on the walls. If you know someone who is curious about tattoo laws, then please share this video with them. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and don't forget that we post new videos bi-weekly on Thursdays at noon. From all of us here at Matthew Harris Law, we appreciate you watching.